welcome to the Apple Talks. This is Pulkit Vora, the only creator of this channel. And today we are going to see how to make your first application using Swift programming language. That is also for iOS. So for that, you need a couple of stuff to be set up. First one is the Xcode. And the second, you will need a Mac operating system and also an Apple hardware. You can also have the Hackintosh, but I personally don't recommend it. I'm using MacBook Pro M1 cheap laptop. I will share all the details to the description so you can go and find out and find the suitable hardware for you, depending on what budget you have. So let's start. First, you can what you can do is press command and space and type Xcode just like that. Hit the enter. So Xcode will open. Now Xcode is already open. I'm gonna go to the file, new, and the project. We are not gonna go with the playground or packages or workspace for now. Just the project. Mm, okay. So now we have the window. We have the variety of option here, like the platform you can select from here. We will go with the iOS, and then we will select the application. Okay, now this is the project configuration. Here we are trying to create a Hello World app. So I'll say the name is Hello World. Oops. Okay. Teams, if you have multiple Apple login account, you can choose a different different team. But as of now, we can just skip it. Now this is kind of interesting. Uh, let's take a a, uh, I'm sorry, let's take an example of a simple website which says www.google.com. But into the world of the mobile app development, you have to use the reverse terminologies like it's going to be com.google.youtube. So here I'm going to say com.appledocs, where Apple Docs is my organization and hello world is my project name. So by default, you can say the bundle identifier is set to com. Apple talks dot hello world. Now this interface, these are two options, Swift UI and Storyboard. Swift UI is a new language, so we are not gonna go into the details of that for now. We will stick with Storyboard. The next is language, you can have two options here, Swift or Objective-C. Objective-C is the first language introduced by the Apple and Swift was launched by the Apple in 2013 or so. Now, bottom of that we have two more option the core data and that include test this is like you know automated testing but let's talk about that into the upcoming videos hit the next now you need to see the directory where you want to actually save the project i'm gonna go to the, my directory and then just save here So like that, we have created our first project. Now let's try to get into the more details. This is the general tab of the project where I can see the minimum deployment target is set to iOS 15.2. So any devices running on 15.2 or lower won't be able to run this application. So let's just go and set to the iOS 14.0 for now. Now you can see that two configuration first one is debug and second one is release uh, if you are coming from any development background then i'm sure you are knowing this too but if you don't know about this too don't worry i'll be creating separate video on debug and release mode in upcoming days now here we have the localization supports you want to view support of multiple language like english chinese hindi gujarati then you can just add it here now let's go to the target. This is the most important to the project. You can see the display name set to hello world, the bundle identifier. This is the version. Here you can specify whether you want to build for iPhone, iPad, or also for the Mac. Now this is the orientation. I'll say I want to build for portrait only, but if you want to build application for uh, upside down, landscape left, landscape right, you can just enable or disable. Based on the settings, the application will be built and installed to the devices. Now, this is basically the app icon that we see to the, all the app. This is the configuration file. 
let's not go to the details now let's directly jump to the assets so this is applic app icon assets whatever app icon you want to set you have to cut it to the supported resolution and drop it here now let's talk about this first we have different different you know category here you can see the navigation bar this is a whole long xcode will hold the details okay this is the source control navigation this is project navigation this is show find navigator and this is also the navigator but not rarely used so let's directly go to the app delegate now guys i want you to bring all the consultation you can to this point because the app delegate is gonna be the entry point of your application when you are running your application first time or if let's say if any application is being tapped by user and it is about to be presented to the application layer this is the function will get executed first it says did finish launching with option it means your application has completed finishing with option now this is uh, for the scene you can consider scene as a window so we have separate file for that so when your window or you can see the scene is about to connect then this function will get executed then we have seen did disconnect scene did become active did become active means application was gone to the background and it's about to be presented to the foreground again scene will resign active means it is about to enter the background scene will enter foreground means it is about to enter the foreground but once it it has entered to the foreground this will get called so this and this are interrelated and this is also scene did enter background so this and okay no worries let's skip to that now let's go to the view controller view control is gonna be your main class where you need to put all the business logic you want to do and we have the main file here main dot storyboard so this is gonna be uh, the file where you need to do all of the ui operations so let's start by adding the label because label is the most easiest part to part to the each programming language okay i'm gonna say name to the hello world and let's add another label here welcome to apple talks let's say welcome to the apple talks it sounds more intellectual okay oh i think i overwrote those label let me add another label for the hello world okay now we have two labels now let's just see how it looks when i run it for the first time let's go to the simulator let's hit the, let's see which simulator i have already opened up okay i don't have any simulator so we can start with any fresh one here this is building the app building the app means that compiler is just doing the linking of all the files compiling and com and doing the object reference of each file okay now we have the simulator loaded up wow so finally guys you can see the hello world and welcome to the apple talks but still it doesn't look good to me so let's try to open it again mm, not good i really don't like the white screen here so let's see what we can do now we have one more file known files this is kind of a splash screen this is represented to the user until application is being loaded into the background so we can just say add a label here loading the app dot 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 okay and let's just add a color to this i basically like the light color so i'm gonna use the red color but with opacity 0 0.4 oh it's too much okay 
and let's change the color of the font to the white we can also increase the size let's set it to the 30. now let's see how it looks okay so you guys see that let me try to re-show you that the loading the app and the app is loaded now let's try to modify it a bit because i can see this label is centered to the story mode but not here actually so to do that we have to use the auto layout i'm gonna give you the very brief of auto layout for now but for the details i'll create another separate video so let's just try to add center horizontal center vertical okay and let's just add the height i'll say i want height set to 45 now you can see the label into the center but again let's apply the same auto layout constraint to this file let's stop the app go to the main store story board the hello world. i'm gonna give center horizontally to this but not vertical and also the center vertically okay now this let's consider this as a subtitle so this will be dependent to the first level but i can set the top gap to the 20 and also i can give it the center horizontal so these two looks pretty nice to me let us change the color of this file also let's set it set to the some tail color the font should be something lighter maybe the white only let's increase the font size we can also do the multi select and change the property that works so let's see how it looks so guys finally we have created the first application which is hello world let's try to add more simplicity to the file so it does not look very bad to the human eye let's change color to the system teal color loading the app to the right no, we can't say installing because it is basically installed you can say the loading and text card to the completely white right. now let's see how it looks so guys finally we have created our first project that is hello world and i'm sure you guys have liked it if you found it interesting please do help me by contributing or subscribing or sharing or liking thank you so much guys i'll be coming up in a couple of days with another videos with more good quality than this thank you so much